New Zealand is a wonderful place for children. But there are some places that I wouldn't take my children. And having travelled New Zealand multiple times and lived here for six years, there are some places I don't recommend taking your children in New Zealand. My children are two and three, so these recommendations are based on under five-year-olds. Hi, I'm Emily and I run the Organised Mum Lifestyle YouTube channel. Posting every Friday about my husband and I and our children's adventures around New Zealand whilst working full-time, living the fantastic lifestyle that we have here in New Zealand. I avoid the West Coast beaches, whether that's the West Coast of Auckland or the West Coast of the South Island. The West Coast has the Tasman Sea, which is extremely rough and dangerous, containing quite a lot of rips. Fantastic surf beach, but not great for your under fives. Granted, we love West Coast beaches. We got married at one on the West Coast of Auckland. It's fantastic, but that was before children. Beautiful black sand, but very dangerous. Fantastic surf beaches, but very dangerous. Water, winds, riptides. There's plenty of beaches on the east coast of Zealand that are worth going to. Queenstown, absolutely full of adrenaline adventure. Amazing stuff, bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, skydiving, and jet boating. But are these appropriate things for children? Probably not. Under the age of five, I don't recommend doing any of those activities. In fact, you won't be able to do any of those activities. They won't let children do them. However, it is still worth going to Queenstown. There's some fantastic things for children in Queenstown. We're going to go later in the year and I'll make some recommendations of things that we're going to do with our children, but there won't be any adrenaline activities with our children. Staying on the South Island, Mount Cook. Mount Cook is beautiful when you can see it. One in three days you're able to see Mount Cook. So it is worth a drive, it is worth a look. It is not worth climbing Mount Cook with children. In fact, don't climb Mount Cook if you haven't got any experience climbing mountains. So Mount Cook is not a place to take your under fives. On the theme of hiking, Tongariro Alpine Crossing, a beautiful crossing, which Daddy and I did before children. It is a wonderful walk. It is not somewhere to take children. The weather can change at very short notice. Fog comes in, strong wind comes in, you are at the top of a volcano. It is a dangerous place to be, you need to be prepared and make sure you understand what you're doing as an adult, let alone with children. I would not take my children to Tongariro Alpine Crossing. Auckland Sky Tower. I previously did a video, which I'll link to here, where we went up Sky Tower with our children and it was free for under five. So is it worth taking the children? Well, it didn't cost us anything. Did they get anything from it? Yeah, they looked at the view. But is it worth taking them up Sky Tower? Have a look at the video and see what you think. Our children did enjoy it. We did have to pay for Daddy and I to go up and we were distracted by our children all the time. But is it worth going to some of those tourist sites? Comment below, is it worth taking children to some of these tourist sites? Last month, we went dolphin watching in the Bay of Islands. We did it because we had guests from England visiting and we wanted to show them the gorgeous dolphins. As you'll see from the video, which I'll link here, Tilly fell asleep whilst we were watching dolphins. So what did she get from it? Monty made a friend on the boat and saw some dolphins and he had a fantastic experience. But was it worth taking them? I don't know, what do you think? It didn't cost us anything, under the age of five were free and we had a fantastic day. I did have to keep an eye on them to keep them safe on the boat because they could have fallen overboard and I have to say if, if I'd had any more children it would have been challenging to keep an eye on them. Daddy looked after Tilly and I looked after Monty. Seeing Kiwi on a night tour. We saw Kiwi last month at the Kiwi house in Whangarei. It was fantastic. We were inside the room. However, my children were not as quiet as they should have been and they had to whisper and ever so often they were loud and it did disturb the Kiwi even though they were in captivity. So there is no way we are going to go see a Kiwi at night time because they wouldn't be able to whisper, they wouldn't be able to follow the guide and they would disturb it for everybody else. Rotorua. Now Rotorua is one of our favourite places in New Zealand. It is fantastic but it is dangerous. It is geothermal. We went to Waiatepu last year and there is very little barrier between the bubbling hot mud, the 100 degree bubbling water and the sulfurous acidic water. There is very little to stop my two and three year old from diving in that attractive looking water. It is a dangerous place to take children and you must keep an eye on them. 
In saying that, it is a fantastic place to take children. There is the gondola, there is the luge, there is a lot to do in Rotorua, and it's somewhere we're going back to in a couple of weeks, actually. The Northern Explorer train is a fantastic train trip from Auckland to Wellington, but it does take 11 hours. This is a very long time for under five-year-olds to be sat on a train. Our children love trains. We go on a lot of train trips, but they're usually one to two hours and a little day trip. This is a wonderful trip to go through the North Island, through Tongariro, past all the mountains, but there's a lot of sitting, a lot of looking out the window, and it's not something my children would do. An option could be the South Island trains. There is the Transalpine and the Coastal Pacific, which are half day journeys, which might be a little bit better for children. Certainly if you've got older children, they would be fantastic. Transalpine goes through the middle of the South Island through Arthur's Pass and takes four to five hours and the Coastal Pacific goes up the east coast from Christchurch to Picton and takes also four to five hours. Again beautiful scenery but still a lot of sitting inside a train for the children. There is an outdoor carriage on all of the trains which is exciting but I think the novelty kind of wears off for a three-year-old after about the first hour. The Waitangi Treaty Grounds, featuring a very important marae, a Māori meeting ground or church, a place that requires respect. You must remove your shoes, sunglasses, hat and be respectful within the building. My children did go in and we saw a fantastic cultural performance, which the children did enjoy, but they got a bit scared. In saying that they were very good, what did they get from it? I'm not so sure, they were a little bit scared and it's somewhere that does require respect. However, New Zealand is pretty chilled and they want to open up opportunities to everybody. So the Waitangi Treating Grounds are worth visiting with children, but just remember to be respectful when inside the marae and other buildings. Hot Water Beach in the Coromandel. Hot Water Beach is a very unique area where you dig a hole and geothermal hot water comes up. It can be dangerous because it can be boiling, so make sure you add the cold water. So is it worth taking children there? Well, it's great fun, but it can be very dangerous. We've not been for many years, they're a little bit older now, so we're going to go back later this year, but it could be somewhere that's very dangerous with the geothermal boiling water coming up from underneath. Puzzling world in Wanaka, down near Queenstown. I didn't enjoy it and I felt it was not appropriate for under the age of five. It is somewhere that's got fantastic reviews, feel free to Google it. I think it's great if the children are older, they can do puzzles, but my under fives didn't get much from it at all. It was a rainy day activity, which I would rather have gone inside a museum or a library. City centres at night. They are actually very safe. It's a very safe area. But is it worth taking your children to restaurants into the city centres at night time? There are things that you can do. There's restaurants, there's entertainment, there's theatres, there's cinemas. But for under the age of five, it's probably not worth being in a city centre at night time. Go to the city centre in the daytime. There's loads to do. I know Auckland very well. Libraries, museums, a zoo. But at night time, it's after the children's bedtime. It's probably not the best time to be in the city centre for things for under five-year-olds to do. Here's one that's contentious, Hobbiton. Hobbiton is free for under the ages of 10. It is New Zealand's most popular Lord of the Rings destination. If you are a big Lord of the Rings fan, please visit. If your under 10-year-old or particularly under five-year-old isn't a Lord of the Rings fan, what are they going to get from it? If you are, pay, go, take your children with you. But if you're going just out of curiosity, your children will get to run around the beautiful gardens and the beautiful area. There is a guided tour of which they will have to follow the guide and a little bus tour. But is it worth taking an under five to Hobbit on? So if you're loving it and you're excited to go and you don't have any childcare, take them because it's free. Let me know in the comments if you've taken your children to Hobbit on. Thank you for watching. Are there any places you wouldn't recommend taking under fives in New Zealand? Have you come across many places? Generally, it's a wonderful place to take children. It is safe, it is clean, it is a fantastic environment for children to learn and grow within the country. But please comment below if there's places you don't recommend taking your under fives. I'll add them to my list. We've got lots of trips planned coming up. I'm just about to edit the video for my walking in Abel Tasman, which will be live next Friday, with more updates about living in New Zealand and places you should and shouldn't visit. I'll see you in my next video.